Hi guys. <clears throat> so we continue our discussion on the envelope theorem. So now we have the uh, constraint uh, optimization problem, right? Maximize the objective function, which has n variables subject to the uh, constraint g of x1 up to xn. And let's suppose some parameter a is equal to zero for simplicity. Okay, so how do we write the Lagrangian function? So the Lagrangian function is your objective function minus lambda times g minus zero. So here it's just g. Perfect. So if you remember the first order conditions, well, they basically imply that the, the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to each parameter xi is equal to zero. And then there is the, the, the del lambda divided by del uh, alpha lambda, I'm sorry, del L divided by del lambda is also equal to zero. So this is, so and del lambda divided by del lambda, I'm sorry, del alpha divided by del lambda is equal to zero. So these n plus one condition are called first order conditions. All right. So let's suppose L star is the new function. Once I plug those uh, uh, you know, uh, x1 star, x2 star, up to xn star, and lambda star into my functional form here, all right? So therefore, the, the envelope theorem says, hey, look, by the way, this is, this do not have to be, this does not have to be d, it could be del, uh, all right? I mean, it's sort of, uh, it shouldn't confuse you whether I'm using d here or del here, but the derivative, the partial derivative of now my optimal value function, let's call it L star, with respect to the parameter A, is therefore my Lagrangian function's partial derivative with respect to A calculated at the optimal point, right? Okay, so that's the idea of the envelope theorem still when we have the constraints. So now let's uh, sort of apply all these in the context of indirect utility, but obviously uh, the uh, 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 and and therefore drive what's called Roy's identity. The Roy's identity basically tells us what should be the optimal x value, optimal demand, with respect to the indirect utility function. So can I drive the optimal demand by using the indirect utility function? And the answer is yes, thanks to Roy's identity. And the Roy's identity is basically nothing but the application of the envelope theorem. So how do we proceed? Remember our optimization problem, maximize utility subject to the budget constraint. So our Lagrangian is equal to objective function minus lambda times the budget constraint, PXX plus PYY minus I. Okay, so the first order conditions always tells us that the uh, del L divided by del X is zero, del L divided by del Y is zero, and del L divided by del lambda is equal to zero. So once you solve these three e equations with for three unknowns, you're gonna get what we call X star, Y star, lambda star, sort of the optimal points for this L. The question is, when we plug X star, Y star, and lambda star into this Lagrangian function, what are we gonna get? Well, what we are gonna get is nothing but the indirect utility function. Well, you may say, hey, hey, look, after finding X and Y stars, plugging back to the utility function was indirect. What about this lambda term? Well, remember in the constraint maximization problem, because this function, utility function is an increasing function, this constraint is gonna be satisfied, meaning this is gonna be equal to zero. So the lambda star is meaningless, all right? So that term, this Lagrangian, will actually be equal to utility of x, y. So therefore, when I plug, utility does not depend on lambda anyway. So therefore, whenever I plug those optimal values into my utility function, what I get is an indirect utility function. Good. Now, I'm gonna calculate two partial derivatives. First, take the derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to the price of good x, and then the derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to the income. So here I'm using the uh, envelope theorem. Remember, del v del px must be equal to the partial derivative of the Lagrangian 
the Lagrangian, the whole Lagrangian, with respect to px, evaluated at the optimal point. Uh, obviously here, alpha star as well. So when I take the partial derivative of the Lagrangian, it is a partial derivative of the utility function. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. When I take the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to px, the, the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to price of good x is simply zero because utility does not depend on price of good x. So here, the only parameter that depends on px is this term, lambda minus lambda px x. And when I take the derivative with respect to x, px, I'm sorry, it's lambda times x star because I am calculating lambda x minus lambda x for x star, y star, and lambda. So it should be lambda star, x star, all right? The second, uh, I'm gonna take the partial derivative of the uh, indirect utility function with respect to income, which means, according to envelope theorem, the partial derivative of u with respect to income, which is zero because utility does not depend on income, minus lambda times minus one, right? So the partial derivative of this term with respect to i is just minus one, so it's plus lambda. Evaluated at x star, y star, lambda star, so this should be plus lambda star. All right, well, what do I have? I have the following. So, sorry for this. So let me open up some space here. On the first, I have partial derivative with respect to px equals minus lambda x star star, and then partial derivative with respect to income, which is equal to lambda star. Divide both sides, assuming that lambda and, and, and this are non-zero. So what I have, these lambda stars will cancel out. So what I have is the following. The optimal demand, x star, which is a potentially a function of px, py, and income, right? Potentially, which must be equal to, the, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna send this minus sign to the other side, minus del v del px divided by del v del p, uh, del income. So therefore, what does that mean? That means, if you use the Roy's identity, and if you already know the indirect utility function, by reverse engineering, you can find the optimal demand, the x star. dv dpx dv di. The minus of it is gonna give you the optimal demand. By the way, what about y star? Can, can I find it? Obviously. It is minus del v del py, the price of good y, divided by del v del income. So this and this is what we call Roy's identity. So if you remember, we solve the maximization problem, find x star, y star, plug it to the utility function to find the indirect utility function. Reversely, what you can do, you can use the indirect utility function, takes a partial derivative with respect to the own price of this good and with respect to the income, and then the minus terms added to the minus terms are going to give you the optimal x and optimal y. All right. Hope that was clear. Uh, hope to see you next time.